All right, I wanted to make a quick video for a viewer. Uh, Brady asked a question yesterday on these old H's wanting to know about how the hydraulics work. He's got one and is wanting to be able to pull a pull type box blade behind it with hydraulics on it. All right, in the question, he asked, where would I hook up for, I'm a, I, I believe I understand it to be power up, power down on your hydraulics. So the first thing to remember is these belly pumps like this right here, they only have pressure up. That is unless you were to plumb in and put what they called the, I think they called it the Christmas tree up here, that would allow you to do that. So the easy way to do this um, with what you're wanting to do, understand that you've got, first off, you've got three outlets off of this pump. This pump is driven from the transmission. So you have no live hydraulics with this pump. It only pumps whenever you have let off the clutch, whether you're in gear or not, kind of like an old eight in Ford. If the transmission is spinning internally, then it can drive the pump, all right? The pump is driven from this direction. Just to make that clear, it's driven from over here coming off of the transmission. So that's what gives your pump rotation to be able to build pressure. All right, that said, you got three outlets. One, <clears throat> two, and three. Okay, the way that I understand it from what I've read and what I've watched, and I wish I could give credit where it was due, but I've watched so much stuff when I was figuring mine out. I don't remember who or where I learned everything from. That said, think about it like this. You've got all of these mounting holes here in the frame. Uh, stuff like this. These tractors, obviously with no three-point hitch on them, they were built to have, for example, a bolt-on cultivator. So if you had a three-piece, which would be a front section, and then it would be mounted somewhere up here. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of pictures and stuff like that on the internet. All right, so you'd have the front, and then you would have a rear and perhaps the rear was two sections and I, there's a reason for all this there's a I'm trying to explain the three outlets the one up there underneath the battery that's going to the front that would be for hang on let me call my dog back Charlie get over here get away from that road boy come on all right back to it that one would go to your front section. So as you were coming to the end of a row out here, obviously you're picking up. Well, that one puts pressure out right before the rear two. And what that's doing, it picks up the front section as you're coming out to the end of the road just a second or so before the rear section does. So that way, as you're, as you're coming along, it picks up that front and you're coming on out to the end of the road, and then it picks up the back. That's the whole reason, is my understanding, for the three. That said, you don't, you can go to any one of those three that you want for your pressure up. All you have is a gravity down, which is fine with a box blade. So you can put hydraulic fluid to your box blade, pick it up, turn around, do whatever, set it back down. The way that this lever works, you'll see you've got this little, get around here, you've got this little detent, so to speak, right there, that catch. All right, right now, your pump is not pumping in that position that it's in. If you want to pick up, simply pull this up, just like that, pull it up to you. When you pull it up to you, it's pulling this. That gives pressure out. So you want to let down. This just lets the pump in neutral. It holds pressure on the hose. If you need to let down, if you need to let your implement down, pick up and push forward. Go through that again. So there's your neutral position with the lift. No pressure going to anything. Okay, we're picking your box blade up. Pull up. Your box blade gets picked all the way up. 
release. Turn around, you're ready to drop your box blade again. Okay, I'm gonna pick up, push forward. Now you're basically in float right there. That is perhaps the best explanation I can give. If that wasn't clear enough, hit you know, comment back on this, and I'll if the, if you got any further questions on on how it works, let me know. I hope that clears it up. Um, the only other thing I'll probably throw in there. So you have let down and your box blade's digging in too much. No big deal. Okay, we're gonna pull this back up. You need to pick up on your box blade a little bit, adjust your box blade to where it needs to be, and then just let back to right here. And it's gonna hold that position. You need to let down on it some, same thing. Give it a little bit down and come back to here. And it's gonna hold your pressure where you're at, you know, considering you don't have any leaks in your hose, anything like that. The only reason that I chose this side instead of the other side is kind of for nostalgic purposes. The old farm all that I wanted as a kid growing up, the one that I saw, that was the side they ran their hose off of. Literally, that's the only reason I picked that side versus the other side. It's probably even more aggravating because I have the pulley right there. But that's why I went with this one. So I hope that helps if, if you got more questions on it and there's a lot of video out there. I never really found one that was all inclusive, you know, like this as far as the operation went. So, you know, there's a lot of folks out there that know way more about these tractors than me. I'm learning this one. This is my first real farm all that I have owned and, and tinkered on and got going and that sort of thing. And the reason it's out here is my beautiful little wife who never cared anything about my old tractors other than keeping them out of sight. She wanted it for fall decoration in the yard. So here she sits. We got us some corn stalks over there. Here's the farm all. So anyway, hope this helps. Uh, got more questions, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll see if I can help you out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the question too.